Hello and welcome to another budget and leggy video. Now I'm just going to do a quick video on explaining um, points and electronic ignition because in the next week or so we're going to be converting the Citroen CX to electronic ignition. So I just want to kind of show you the parts I'm going to put in and explain why we're doing it and kind of the good points and bad points about about uh, points and stuff like that. Now. Points, I don't have any in my hand, but I'll put a picture up here so you know what they look like. Points do work, don't get me wrong. They do work, of course they do. But they are fiddly, they are not reliable, they can just go like that. You know, water, anything gets in, depending on where they are in the car. Some of the old minis were a nightmare, where you, if you went through a water, it kind of get in the points and it would just stop. So, re reliability, they're not very good on reliability. Um, so, we're now converted to electronic ignition which is a lot better you can put a bigger spark through the plug and it's modern but we've actually got the most up-to-date modern electronic ignition you can possibly get you can get electronic ignition that's 20 years old but we've got the new modern bits we're going to replace everything new plugs new leads new caps new everything all the wires and absolutely everything because the problem we're having with the Citroen at the minute is it's not giving us proper spark and it's because of a few things the coil it's because of the wiring's old all the connections are old and rather than just trying to put a new coil and trying to you're just best off replacing everything so i'm going to show you what we're going to put in and hopefully we can um, um be putting them on the citron the first thing we're going to put on is a modern coil so this is a coil just looks the same as any other coil, looks the same as the coil that's in there. The coil that's actually in there has got a pre-resistor, so the power goes through the resistor before it comes back in the coil. And the problem with the pre-resistor is, if it's anyways dodgy, the power goes into it, but it doesn't come out of it properly. And if you don't get enough power going into these, you're not going to get enough spark. So we're taking out the pre-resistor, because again, it's 30-year-old technology, we don't need it. We're going to replace it with this coil, which is a lot stronger, so in other words, it puts more volts through and it's new. Um, so we're going to replace it with that coil. We have new, brand new, good quality HT leads. Now what we have to do is they come, I don't know if you can see, they come with one end installed. We have to then cut them to length to put the other end on depending on uh, how long or short we need them. So these kind of will fit any car, but we're just going to make them suit our car. So, but again, What's inside them is all new, modern, they're, they're high performance, they're twice as thick as the ones that are in the car. So again, that means more current can flow, more spark can flow, gets us a cleaner spark and a happier running engine. Now, these two gadgets are the most important part of our kit. We originally ordered this kit that was supposed to be just literally plug and play you get a fitting kit, you install it into your distributor, it's nice and easy, you do it in literally a couple of hours, but unfortunately the kit that we have for our car, even though it says it's for our car, isn't, and you cannot get one for it. But this will still work, it's just going to be a lot more work for me to try and get this lined up properly. But you can actually get special kits where they just literally plug and play, and what I mean by that is they're designed to fit straight into, you don't have to do any lining up, you just plug it in, Put the connection on start the car sound but we can't do that but we're still going to get the same effect at the end of it so we have a brand new uh, module here and this is basically all clever and magic inside what that does is that converts so we have this little gadget here as well which you can see there's a few leads this sends uh you can't i don't know if the camera's going to pick it up in between there you basically have an infrared beam and every time the chopper goes through the beam, which I'll show you that in a second, that then sends a signal to this, which then converts that to a spark, which then allows everything to work and the spark to spark each plug as the, ro as the chopper goes through. So these two are the most important parts. These aren't cheap. They're not cheap at all, but they are, you don't have to do anything with them. They don't particularly break. They they're just, they're just what they are. Best thing about these is you don't have to do anything. There's no maintenance at all with these. You don't have to come back every hundred or so miles and clean this and check this and do it. Maintenance free. You just put them in, 
fire away absolutely perfect which is a big thing because because points maybe once every couple of weeks you, you're adjusting them and setting them and cleaning them and everything and it's a nightmare this is once it's in we're going to have no problems these are really the actual um, brains of the operation that we're putting in now what should have happened is with this fitting kit we remove the old points put this plate in its place this then screws to the plate so just imagine there like that that then screws to the plate like that which then is all set up for you which is brilliant but I can't do it with this one I have to set this myself but I'll go through all that not 100% sure how I'm going to do it yet but you'll see you'll see how I'm going to do it once I do all the videos and what essentially happens is this is the chopper this should fit on the actual rotary arm now again I can't put it on the rotary arm but that's where it should fit and as the rotary arm spins this chopper spins through and breaks the beam I'll show you there breaks the beam and sends a spark so it's very very simple but it's very clever how this interrupts the beam and then this box converts it to a spark so that's essentially how it works and that's why once it's fitted there is no maintenance there is no cleaning you don't have to you wouldn't have to do anything and it's very very simple idea but very very clever so that just spins through there four times or six times or eight times depending on you know how many cylinders your car is that sends a spark which essentially starts your engine or keeps your engine and then we have a cap and a rotary arm now essentially what happens is with all that magic stuff I've showed you it comes up through here and the spark comes out of here which then which hits one of these prongs here which then in turn has a spark lead coming out which then sends spark to that spark plug depending on where this is in relation to the cap so this spins inside the cap essentially and as it hits each one of them legs I don't know if you can see that so as it passes each one of them legs it sends a spark to that cylinder which then keeps your car running the faster you go the faster this spins so it keeps it all in time and like I said with this being electronic ignition we're going to get three or four times stronger spark you're not necessarily going to get the car's not going to go any faster uh, some people do say you know it does put horsepower it doesn't really put horsepower in your car but what it does is it makes your car run smoother so you use less fuel your spark plugs don't get all gunked up very quickly it just runs like a modern day car well as such um, so just the actual running of the car is a million times better points Oh, a nightmare absolute nightmare because as soon as the point fails if, if, if when the point opens and closes if that fails for whatever reason for that second it will spark all the covers go black and you don't get any spark the car will conk out it won't happen with electronic ignition um, so that's the, the the upside to electronic ignition electronic ignition is just 10 million times better because you, you know every time you come out to your car whether it's cold whether it's damp whether it's raining you're gonna start your car and your car is gonna start and it's not gonna fail because of spark where points you just it's a lottery you can either start or it just doesn't um, so that's the, the good thing about electronic ignition and I have to have a big big thanks to Monty from um, SC parts who I got all these parts from he was very very helpful the only person really that actually tried to help me when I was looking for a kit everybody else says no 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 and they just basically wanted to get rid of me but Monty from SC parts he actually went off it took him a couple of days but at least he, he made phone calls he did what he had to do and he, he basically got me a kit and no one else would do that so big big thanks to him I'll put his um, link to his website um, in the description he does an awful lot of electronic drifters. he does everything for an awful lot of classic cars he's in the UK he's worth checking out if you do need anything along them lines so I'm just going to show you on the car exactly what I mean this is the distributor here they more or less look the same on all distributors some are maybe slightly bigger longer shorter but they more or less look the same this is the distributor cap which goes on over and clips these are your spark plugs coming out this is your rotary arm that spins around and like I said depending on which little pin it hits does depend on which cylinder it's sparking 
But what we have are normal ones, we have the points here. So this just pulls off. And our normal cars, you could say, <laughs> but Citroen just like to do everything different, uh, you have the points on the outside here. We have the points on the inside. And the easiest way to know if you've got points or electronic ignition is you need to look for your condenser. If you've got a condenser, so this gold thing on here, you know you've got points. If you don't have a condenser, you know you've got electronic ignition. That's kind of the easiest way to, um, to do it. I'm just going to quickly whip off this and I'll show you exactly what the points look like and how they work. And I do get how some people, you know, if they've got an old car, they want to keep it original. They don't want to be sticking new bits and stuff on. And I can kind of understand that. Um, but the other good thing about this particular kit, you will not know it's in. There's going to be a couple of wires coming out of underneath here. But apart from that, you won't really know it's in. The distributor is still going to look the same. You can even keep the condenser on the top so it'll even look like you've got points. Um, you can take it off, it doesn't really matter, but what I'm saying is you can kind of make it look like it's original. Um, but the problem is with points is if you don't use the car every day, or even if you do use the car every day, but especially if you don't, you can set your points, leave the car sitting for six months, come back out and it won't start because the points are dirty. This, that, this is the problem with points, but once I take this off, you'll see, let's disconnect, we'll come back around and I'll show you um, the points, but I'm going to hide all the gubbins inside here, so they're all going to be hidden with inside here, so once the cover goes back on, you're not going to be able to see any of the new bits that are going in, so it's all going to be hidden in behind there. Now, we have a set of points inside here. Just turn on the light so hopefully you can see a bit better. So, essentially what happens is, that bar you saw sticking out spins around, and as it spins around, this opens, this, now not, not as much as this, but it opens and closes as it hits this little thing here, opens and closes, and that's what sends you the spark, and that's basically how it works. But, in these little strike pads, if them strike pads have gone, um, they've got dirty or the, the, it sparked at the wrong time and they've gone all black, they won't spark properly. Um, and if they're not the, the right distance, if, if the screws come loose or anything like that and, and it actually moves, it won't open enough or it'll open too much and the spark can't go between the gap. They're not expensive to buy, new points, only a couple of quid, they've never been expensive, but it's the annoyance of it, you know, if you go to start your car and it doesn't start, and then, especially with points, if it doesn't start and you try and start, your plugs and your engine, they're going to flood, so then you have to take the plugs out and you have to clean the plugs, and, you have to, and all this hassle because of these fucking things here. So once you take them out of the equation and put electronic ignition in, well then you're not going to have any problem whatsoever. Obviously the newer modern cars with single coil packs and wasted spark and sequential spark, yes, that is better again. But electronic ignition, you're never going to have a problem with electronic ignition as regards the same problems you're going to have with points. Yes, of course you can still have problems. You can have problems with anything. Coil packs can go. Anything can go. But it's going to be a million times more reliable than these points are here. So that's essentially what we're going to do. I'm going to hide, I'm going to take out all these bits and hide all these bits inside here so you're not going to really be able to see it. My tricky point is going to be getting everything lined up so this is in the right place to hit when cylinder number one comes around that's gonna that's what's gonna take me a while I'm gonna have to make new brackets and stuff but we'll do it we'll get there it's just unfortunately rather than taking a couple of hours it could maybe take a couple of days but we're gonna get there and the car is gonna be a million times better for it the customer he comes out every day it's gonna start he's gonna have a smile on his face because he's driving his car every day and everybody's gonna be happy so that's the kind of the, the, the bad point. So that's the bits we're going to put in. Um, I'm going to go into it a lot more detail once I'm doing the on the car, but at least you get the idea of what I'm going to put in, kind of what it looks like and what it does. And I can only suggest if you do have an old car, 
to convert it to electronic ignition because you will just be a lot happier in the long run. Now, we are replacing everything. If you're going to do this, replace everything. New leads, new plugs, new caps, new arms, new wires, because you, if you don't, if you try and use the old wires, or if you try and use, you're just going to cause yourself problems. So if you replace absolutely everything, and you're still having problems, well then, you've got something else, unfortunately. But if you replace everything, you, you're not trying to go back on yourself. If you just replace half of it and leave all the old wires there, you're thinking, well, is it the wires or isn't it the wires? And all that sort of stuff. So I can only suggest when you do something like this, replace everything, buy the whole kit. And yes, it's not cheap, but you will be thankful for it when the car starts and you get you know, a big smile on your face when you're driving it all the time. So yeah, that's it. Now, I'm going to call it for that video. Also, there's 15% off the hoodies on my shop. I'll put the promotion code up here somewhere. Uh, if you want to log on to the shop, you can get 15% off hoodies. And like always, please subscribe, like, and do all that. And uh, don't forget, keep your hands dirty, and we'll see you for the next one.